Each year, every household in Great Britain is sent a household response form to check the right people are registered to vote. It may look like a council circular or a piece of junk mail, but do not ignore it. By law, you have to respond by the stipulated deadline, even if it shows the correct information, or you risk a £1,000 fine. The household response form is sent to every household in Great Britain to check where the voter registration records are correct. It is organised locally, usually by local councils. In England, Scotland and Wales, the form is posted out between July and November each year, and it lists the current eligible voters in your household and asks you to check and update the details. It looks a little something like this. Although each council has a different deadline, which can be any time from July to the end of November, you must respond in time or risk a £1,000 fine. And in most cases, you don't even have to send the form back, as many councils now let you confirm or change your details by phone, text or online, using the security codes on your form, making it even easier to respond. In this video, I'm going to show you my step-by-step -step approach to completing the household response online. So I received the form in the post, and it has the details of all the people that live in my household. The details in this instance are correct. There are no changes that need to be made, but I still need to respond. So I'm going to visit householdresponse.com and I'm going to locate my council. I will put the official household response website in the description box below for you. And once you visit that site, you can locate your council just like I do in this video as well. So here I am on the official household response website. It says here, click on your local authority to proceed to household update service. So all of the councils in Great Britain are located here. You just need to scroll through the list and find the council that is applicable for yourself. Here it says, welcome to the household update service. You may use this service to update or confirm the details of eligible voters at an address. You will need the security codes provided. So here on the actual physical paper form, I've got the codes here, it says step two, enter your unique security code. So I've got two parts, part one here and part two. Those are going to be the codes that I'm going to require to continue as well. So I'm making sure I've got that to hand and I'm going to click on start now. So here it says log on. I'm now going to enter both part one and two of the security codes along with my postcode. And after that, I'll click the I'm not a robot box and then go ahead and click on sign in. So here it says section one of four, property. Is this the property you are providing details for? It lists an address. I confirm that it is my address. So I'll be able to pick the first option from the multiple choices there. Yes, I live at the property. So I'm going to select that answer and then go ahead and click on continue. Section two of four, about you. These are the people currently registered to vote at this property. Please select your own name from the list. So there's two people that live at this property, myself and my wife. As I'm the one completing the household response, I'm going to select myself and then enter my email address. It says here, please provide an email address to allow us to confirm details of the completion of this process. Your local authority may use this to contact you by email for registration purposes in the future. So once I've selected myself and enter my email address, I'm gonna go ahead and click on continue. So section three of four, occupants. If you need to add or remove a person from the list below or amend the details of a person already on the list below, please use the edit, remove and add an occupant buttons below. So you can see here that some of the details for, for myself, it has my nationality, it states that I do have a postal vote, it reiterates my email address and it states that I have open register status. The open register is an extract of the electoral register, but it is not used for elections. It can be bought by anyone and used for many purposes, including confirming name and address details and direct marketing purposes. Removing your details from the open register does not affect your right to vote. Now I got that information on the reverse of the form that was posted to me. Now from reading this, I don't think I really want to be on the open register. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and click on edit and get myself off of the open register. So here within the details for myself after clicking on edit, I'm going to scroll down to where it says, do you want to include your name on the open register? Currently it's ticked as yes. And just underneath that, it does reiterate why I just stated that was on the form. And after finding that out, I'm not comfortable having my name be on the open register. So I'm now going to change it from yes to no. So I've now changed it to no, and now I'm going to click on the update button at the bottom. That now takes me back to section three or four occupants and as you can now see it says open register status off the open register 
Now what I'm going to do is just try and see if I can do the same for my wife. So I'll click on edit and try and get her off of the open register as well, as she isn't interested either in being on the open register. But here, unfortunately, it says, you can only change your own open register status. The occupant concerned will need to contact the local authority directly to change their open register status. So on this occasion, I'm unable to change the open register status for my wife. So it's now her duty to get in touch with our local authority, the council, and get them to change it directly. So we'll go ahead and go back. And apart from that, everything else looks good. We'll scroll down and as it says here, please select continue if all details are correct and no other eligible voters live at the property. So I'll go ahead and click on continue. And it says here section 404, declaration. It reconfirms my address. And then it says people living at this property and eligible to register vote, names myself and my wife. And then it names the person completing this form is myself. Then we have a tick box. It says, please tick the box to confirm the below. To the best of my knowledge, the information above is true. I have checked with everybody above that the information about them is correct. So I've done it for both my wife and myself. We're happy with all the information. I'm gonna go ahead and tick the box next to declaration and then click on confirm and sign out. And it says, thank you for completing your household update service. An individual registration form will be sent by post to any new people in your household who are eligible to register and then you can register online at gov.uk. And because I provided my email address early on, I received an email as well that I completed the household response. And here it says confirmation of household details. It confirms the council where I live and it confirms my security code part one and says, thank you for confirming your property details as below. And it gives the service completed time and date. So I'll keep that email as my proof that I did indeed complete the household response, making sure I don't get any nasty thousand pound fines. Please give this video a like if you found it helpful and consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. Why not share this video with someone else you think may benefit from it? And if you have any questions or comments, leave them for me below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.